Welcome back, everybody. It's Thursday, August 24th, 2023. Let's talk GOP debates, a bank fine, and all Dean support. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. One Republican presidential primary has now taken place, at least for most candidates. Former President Donald Trump skipped the first GOP debate, indicating to Tucker Carlson in a social media interview his reasons that he worried the other candidates would team up and make him a target, and that Fox News, which carried the debate, has not been friendly enough to him. There are going to be two more GOP presidential debates. The next will be at the Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. The third hasn't been announced, although candidate Nikki Haley reportedly has said it would be in Alabama. Now, that's not confirmed, and Haley's level of certainty is anybody's guess, and the Alabama Republican Party isn't clearing anything up yet. State Party Chair John Wall told WHNT, quote, Unfortunately, I have to say no comment at this time. Birmingham-based Regions Bank just got hit with what's purported to be the largest fine ever of its kind, reports AL.com's William Thornton. Now, the Federal Reserve Board fined Regions around $2.95 million. According to the Fed statement, over failure to effectively monitor a portfolio of home equity loans for compliance with flood insurance regulations due to changes in loan servicing platforms and third-party service providers. You got that? Regions said it's an issue that it recognized years ago and has already fixed. With country music star Jason Aldean scheduled to play the wharf in Orange Beach on Sunday, Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennan is showing support for the sentiments in Aldean's controversial song, Try That in a Small Town, reports AL.com's Lawrence Specker. Now the song, for anybody out there who hasn't heard it yet, seems to support a version of small town values where residents don't tolerate violent crime or non-patriotic displays such as flag burning. Critics argue the song itself is promoting violence and raised a big fuss about the video, which included clips of violence at Black Lives Matter demonstrations and had scenes in front of a courthouse where a lynching took place nearly a century ago. Mayor Kennan released the image of a painting of a Colt 45 with Granddad's gun written on the grip, that's a reference to a pro-Second Amendment line in the song, and a key to the city painted on the pistol cylinder. The background is an American flag with Try That in a Small Town on it. Now, Kennan said there are no definitive plans to present the painting to Aldine, so it may hang in City Hall. One other thing I wanted to update from yesterday. We knew there was a possibility for some eye pop and temperature records as the heat wave peaks. Mobile was one place with particularly high temperature forecasts. As AL.com's Lee Morgan reported, It reached 103 degrees in Mobile yesterday. That's a record for August 23rd, but falls a couple degrees short of the all-time highest recorded official temperature in the city. That record is still 105 degrees, recorded back in August 2000. Thank y'all so much for listening. We're going to come back and do this again tomorrow. Until then, y'all come on by and see us anytime you want to. We're on the internet at AL.com.